Yeah, yeah, you, you, your program notes, yes, they, they were very powerful. But you, you, you're sort of very much seem to be more around the persuasion rather than the mandatory argument in terms of the vaccination. And when you see figures like 25% of players in the AFL saying we will not get vaccinated no matter what, do you, do you think it should be mandatory or do you still think it's just a question of persuading and no. educating? No, it's, it's a question of persuading. Um, I think mandatory makes... From a moral point of view, it should be mandatory for each person, I think, because that's. But it's not from a from a loyal point of view, if that makes sense. Legal. Legal. No, from a legal point yes, of view, so they say um, you know you have to, otherwise you will blah 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 these kind of things. I don't I don't see that. But from a moral point of view, because if I can do something but helps the people around me, that's for me mandatory. So, but that's obviously people see that differently. So, but um, <sighs> but again. Um, I think I, I'm, I'm in this specific case. I'm, I'm 54 years old. It's a spe- I, I'm, I'm really a big believer in that from the right that you can convince people about the right things to do, but I'm not sure in this specific case. So, and England is a much better place um, um, vaccination rate wise than Germany is, for example. Uh, and I, um, with parts of, it's unbelievable how 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 how, how aggressive. The, 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 the anti-vaxxer scene is and all these kind of things and how clear they are and with all the things they obviously know better than the rest of us so it's really it's really tricky it's really tricky but no I don't think it should be mandatory but um, so legally but morally yes okay. thanks Chris thank you very much uh, Dave Maddock and then Andy Hunter and we'll go to the Sundays after that Dave yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, hi um, sorry to uh, your more mundane question and serious COVID stuff but you say about Alex Oxley Chamberlain and he's playing the best he's been. Um, and he, he's been really hugely important for you, but he's actually got only 18 months left on his contract now, and there's no sign yet of any extended deal. And you've got a couple of players a bit like that, with like Divock, who's really important as well, and he's only got like, sort of six months left. I just wonder, like, is it important to you to get these players who who make these contributions without necessarily always being in your starting eleven? Is it important to get them signed up? And particularly with Alex and how he's bringing something different now. I think it's like, that's really, that's a completely normal situation. So it's now, uh, I think we don't talk about, we don't have to talk about um, potential of these boys or whatever. It's then about um, what makes sense for both sides in six or 18 months or whatever, um, these kind of things. But it's not important in the moment at all. In the moment, it's absolutely important how can you contribute in the moment when you, when you play. It's the only thing that is important. We are not, we are, we not, it's not, and it's now not the two players which you, men- you mentioned. And we will not stay together forever. <laughs> so we, uh, that's how it is. And if somebody wants to go somewhere else, we have to find a solution for it. If we want to have somebody from another club, we have to find a solution for it, all these kind of things. But it has nothing to do with now. And I don't plan with players for like coming in in the case of they cannot, the others cannot play. It's about how do you play in the moment and then you are in the starting lineup if your contract expires in two months, in four days, or in f- five years. Makes absolutely no difference. So they are all important, but not because they are happy uh, when they don't start. They're important because they can really contribute in a moment when they start or when they come on. And that's why they are Liverpool players. 